Hmm. Hey. So, basically this world is set up in such a way that if you're for truth, if you're for facts, if you're for progress, you're going to be fucked. So, when I say free energy exists and people who claim global warming is real, they don't they never want to look into free energy alternatives. If you believe in global warming and that gas is a you know, our gas from our cars are affecting the environment, then look into Nikola Tesla and shut the fuck up. If you think gun violence is a problem in America, look at the t statistics that show you that you're clearly wrong and shut the fuck up. Over 2 million defensive firearm uses a year from law-abiding citizens, and that overwhelms the amount of gun crime in America. Okay? All right. Um, base, people say, well, there's 30,000 gun deaths a year in America. That is, that is clearly misleading statistics. What percentage of that 30,000 gun deaths were suicides? Oh, two, tw fucking 60%? Oh, okay, so minus 20,000 of those, how much, there's, so now there's 10,000. How much of that was justifiable by police versus accidental discharge versus criminal activity? Oh, so the only criminal activity was 5,000? Oh, okay, so now there's only 5,000 deaths a year in America from gun violence. Okay? That's like 0.000001% of the population. Okay? And and for the Republicans, in, drug, in the drug war, how many people have died from cannabis? Zero. So y'all can shut the fuck up and go read some facts. How many UFO sightings are there every fucking year? I'm not sure, but if NASA astronauts are claiming UFO exists, UFOs exist, I might happen to believe them more than an X-Files episode would tell me. You know? So, Republicans shut the fuck up. And Democrats, if you want open borders, why don't you ask the Syrian refugees to, to chill at your house or live next door to you with your young daughter? Okay? I don't know if you know this, but the Syrian fucking Islamic refugee plague that's spreading throughout Europe has caused more crime than ever. Stabbings in London are like five times a day. The murder rate in London is more than New York City now because of this open border shit. I don't know if you even heard about Sweden. The Muslims are raping all the hot blonde bitches in Sweden because they're fucking barbarians. And I'm not saying just as a religion, I'm saying the Syrian culture. There's a huge difference. If you're a Muslim who's all about peace and love and you don't harm anyone, you should re-fucking read your Quran that says kill all unbelievers. And you could say, well, don't cherry pick verses. I'm going to cherry pick your fucking religion because idiots will interpret that as literal, which it in fact is anyway. So y'all could shut the fuck up too. Let's talk about, I don't know, health care. If you want Bernie Sanders to win and the government to be in charge of your health care... You're fucked. If you want Bernie Sanders to win and be in charge of the educational system that teaches you identity politics and teaches you to have um, like sensitivity training because you're inherently born unconsciously racist, then shut the fuck up. If you want to be a white male liberal and th feel like the whole black race is because of your problems and what you cause, you could shut the fuck up too because you didn't do anything. Slavery has been abolished. If racism exists, that sucks. That doesn't mean it's the only problem in this world. I grew up Jewish. Don't talk to me about fucking slavery. I converted to Christianity because I used my actual fucking brain to, con to consciously figure out my identity. And my identity has nothing to do with my skin color, nothing to do with my religion. It has to do with my economic fucking value that I bring to this country. Because America doesn't care if you're white, black, or purple. If you make money, you're good. Why are all these fucking millionaire rappers talk about oppression? Why are these basketball players bending the knee when they couldn't make a million dollars a fucking year in any other country throwing a fucking ball around? I don't know. Because you're privileged. How about that? You guys are the one that's are, are privileged. If you're African-American and you graduated college, 
You're more privileged than me, a white Christian male, because I dropped the fuck out of college. Okay? Because it's a fucking bullshit educational system that teaches you lies. And that teaches you that communism is okay. Without any fucking historical evidence providing uh, that fact. A hundred million people died from communism, and you think it's just the wrong form of communism? How about you go move there and change it? Well, fascism killed six million Jews and six million other people. No shit. Communism killed a hundred million people. Is that any better? Capitalism is the one thing that allows government to not regulate your financial uh, dealings. Okay? There's no limit. A millionaire pays their 10%. A thousandaire pays their 10%. The millionaire obviously pays more with that 10% than the thousandaire because 10% of a million is more than 10% of a thousand. And you still want to raise taxes on the rich? Who are already paying more than you with that 10 fucking percent? I'm not rich. I'm middle class. Me and my wife have a normal fucking job. She graduated college. I didn't. She gets paid more than me. Talk about the fucking gender gap. My wife gets paid more than me. Guess what? Because she graduated college. And it worked harder than me. And succumbed to the system more than me. So she gets paid more. And that's how that goes. If you, if you think communism is better than capitalism, and that the government should regulate how much money you fucking make, then move to fucking China. Move to the Ukraine. Okay? And if you're one of those people that think gender doesn't exist and that biologically it's not a fucking fact, how come I'm a man and I'm straight and I like fucking big titties flopping around? Maybe because gender exists. Sure, people who are gay are gay. That doesn't mean gender doesn't exist. Sure, people have uh, sex changes. That doesn't mean gen if gender didn't exist, why would you want a sex change since it doesn't exist? Okay? Well, I mean, it's, it's just a huge fallacy in most people's arguments to biologically claim, well, I'm whatever I identify as. I don't give a fuck what religion you identify as, but your sex... Your body is a fact. If you have a penis, you're a male. If you have a fucking vagina, you're a female. I can call you he or she or whatever, but biologically, I'm not going to call you what you are not. I worked with two transgender people, both kinds. A girl transitioned to a female, so I had to call her James. And then my second, uh, my, my next job was a guy trans, uh, sorry, a girl trans... Uh, what is it? I mean, translated? I don't know. A girl switched her vagina to a penis, so I called her James. And then a guy I knew switched. He kept his penis, but started taking hormones, so he grew titties. But she, he, she identified as a she. And because you have a dick, I still have to identify you as what you want. That's fine with me. But if you're filling out a census, you're going to put male or fucking female. If you put other, then there's no point in the census, is there? My whole thing is this whole Canadian draconian laws that are being enforced because of fucking Trudeau and communists like that. There's a bill called M103 that's against Islamophobia, so you can't discuss how violent the Quran is. There's Bill 86, which says the government can take your kids from you if they complain that you don't identify with their gender. Okay, and of course there's Bill, uh, uh, the, and sorry, that was Bill 89, uh, the main bill, C-16, which says you can't call transgender people not by their shit and you can get fined or jailed because of it. That is the ban on free speech as we know it, and Canada has no fucking First Amendment or Second Amendment. They're basically American communists. They're New York. They're what, they're what exactly is the worst possible thing that could happen to America. That's Canada. So, if you want to ban people's ideas because you're offended, then you're a communist. You're a fascist. If I say, I hate all rednecks and I hate racists, you should be able to say that. But if you say, I hate all black people and I hate Jews, you should be able to say that. As long as you do not physically harm anyone, you're good in my book. I can think you're a fucking idiot, 
And you shouldn't judge people by their color and you should judge them by the content of their character. But like Voltaire says, I might disagree with what you say, but I will fight to the death to defend your right to say it. And in Canada, so-called raised on French existentialism, fucking postmodern values, which is Voltaire, completely disregard that philosophy. If we're going to have identity politics run our country then you basically started the new world fucking order. Because if the government regulates what you say, the government regulates how your kids should think, and the government says you can't talk about certain religions in a bad way, that's fucking fascism in a nutshell. And if you don't see it, then you deserve what's coming.